没有来看以赛亚书第四十一章。那么呢，那个啊、呃，主题呢，那个题目呢，啊、呃，是奉耶稣的名害怕消失。Please, please do yourself a favor, okay? Read this chapter, listen to this chapter, study this chapter, discuss with other people, discuss with your people in your small group ministry. In this chapter, because this is important, if the Lord is calling us to be set free from fear, there must be a reason why He's doing just that. So Isaiah, you're going to eat and breathe and talk and discuss and read Isaiah 41 this week, in allowing the Holy Spirit to set us free from all kinds of fear that you are struggling with. 所以这个星期呢，让我们来啊、呃、认真的去阅读这个以赛亚书第四十一章。因为如果圣灵带领我们这个星期呢来看这一章，那就表示说呢，这一个、呃、恐惧、这个害怕呢，是神要在我们生命里面呢做的一个工作。所以让我们这个星期呢认真的去阅读，认真的去了解这个呃这一章以赛亚书四十一章。And of course, sometimes it takes time. Okay, like in the things of God, it's like thirty-four, sixty-four, a hundredfold. If you have been set free from whatever fear that you're struggling with, a hundredfold, main, make sure you maintain that. If you are struggling with fear, you still have the thirty-fold. You still struggling, or you have been set free only thirty-fold. You still have seventy percent of fear. You have been set free sixty-fold. You still have forty percent of fear. Okay, depends on where you are. You need to move forward. Thirty-fold freedom needs to head towards sixty-fold. Sixty-fold freedom from fear needs to head towards a hundredfold. The goal is a hundredfold freedom. Freedom from this fear, this demonic fear that Satan wants me to have. Okay, so you you have to be set free in Jesus' name. You can be set free in Jesus' name, and you must be set free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, if we are in this fear of fear, if we have already experienced freedom, then we need to have freedom from fear. 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 Then we need to 就是如果你心中呢还有那一个惧怕的话，那么呢，我们要在这一方面让神来工作，然后呢，我们要继续的前进。I say one, two, three. I want everybody to read the title from your hearts. Okay, everyone, mother church, virtual church, satellite church, read the title. Okay, and read it. Don't just read it, but declare it. One, two, three, go. One more time. One last time. That's right. 奉耶稣的名，害怕消失。So whenever you go through life, your life journey, okay? Whenever you feel, I fear, I fear for my children. Oh, I fear, I, I, I will not do well. I fear people don't like me. I fear you must say, fear be gone in Jesus' name. You must remember this title for the rest of your life. You get out of your house. You want to, you want to go into your car. Suddenly, certain ungodly fear comes. You feel I was I'm going to get accident. I'm going to get accident. Or I'm going to get sick. You watch TV. Or I'm going to get this sickness. Fear be gone in Jesus' name. You have to remember this is a very. This is not just a sentence. This is a prayer. This one sentence is a prayer. Remember this. Oh, my boss not going to like me. I'm going to do well. I'm going to do badly today at work. No fear be gone in Jesus' name. Oh, I will not graduate. Journey of recovery. No, fear be gone in Jesus' name. So, if in the next year, in our life journey, in our life journey, if one day you suddenly get a bad news, remember today's Isaiah chapter 41, which is the title of the message, "Fear is gone." This alone is not just a prayer; it is already a prayer. Or if you suddenly get a bad news, you feel afraid, and your boss doesn't like you. Then you can do the same thing. 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 Start to the message, okay. You got to be responsible and go deeper throughout the week. Okay, I do not. I do. I have less than one hour to present, so no way I can preach the whole chapter. So it's and it's totally fine. That's normal for every church. Some churches the pastor even preach 
just for 20 minutes for your information. But we are blessed. I preach for 45 minutes like that. So the sermon itself is not enough. You have to go back because truly this is a powerful message that God wants you to have and Satan doesn't want you to have. 所以一个星期当你来教会的时候呢当分享神的话语的时候呢那只是一个好像一个启动模式一样那么接下来呢就在整个星期呢你必须自己呢去深入的研究这个圣经所以呢这关于这个恐惧这个害怕是非常重要的
if you can go from YouTube videos, how many of you can go on and on and on and on, but you can't even read one chapter a day? I know I'm not saying stop watching TikTok. I know it's, I believe in the chaining technique. Chaining technique means step by step. Okay, I believe in that. But how many of you can go on, you can spend the whole day on listening to what the world has to say, what is, what is beautiful, what is, what is this, what is, what the world has to say, but you can't even read one chapter a day. Today is a day of repentance. And you don't want to tell, God, this fear never leave me. I mean, my, I'm, I'm an old lady, I'm dying in my bed. I struggle with fear all my life. You ask for it. You ask for it. You have to be set free. The, the, the word begins with shut up. Shut up before God, O oh, non-believing nations. And let the people re renew that strength. When, when we allow the world to shut up. I don't want to hear your nonsense. I don't want to waste my time on all the nonsense what the political things are being spoken about. Shut up. Then what happens? Our strength will be re Look at God's word. Okay, then we will come near to God. And we believers, we will speak with God. And then together with God, we come and enter into judgment. That's powerful. Can somebody say or type, that's powerful. Come on, say it. That's powerful. So we have how many people can spend time from one TikTok to another TikTok to this TikTok? If you're on YouTube, you can see all the videos of the TikTok. You can see the TikTok in the TikTok in the TikTok. 但是呢，要你阅读圣经里面的其中一章的时候呢，对你来讲是难上啊、呃、加难的事情。那么，所以如果我们因为这经节告诉我们说，如果我们要啊、呃、使我们的那一个啊、呃、恐惧消失的话呢，我们要做的事情就是我们要不要去听那属世界的所有的任何言语，而是要来看啊、呃、神的话语，因为我们看见后尾说，当民众。啊、呃，重新得力都要进前来才可以说话，所以我们知道说呢，当那一些啊、呃，我们不去听属世界东西的时候呢，我们就能够重新得力。So now we have replacement. I mentioned chaining technique earlier, step by step, right? Now there's all must be replacement technique now. So you're gonna stop. Okay, I'm not saying you know you stop everything. Great if you can stop listening to what the world has to say. I mean, I'm kind of like that. Praise the Lord. We, you know when I when I got born again, when I got born again in the 90s, I threw away all my CDs, all the, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not saying you must do that, but I did that. The Holy Spirit told me to do it, to stop listening. I don't listen to radio. I used to love listening to, I don't listen to radio. You will never, I have, it's not that I supernaturally, the Lord has changed my heart. I threw away my poor Sheila Majak CD. I threw away everything. I just, I have no time for all these things. I threw away simply. I don't listen. I I don't listen to radio. I have no time for this. And I'm glad. I'm glad. But when you when you give up something, you got to replace it with something else, right? So you got to start. You say I'm not going to I'm not going to engage myself in all these worldly books, the worldly media's. Let's say, okay? Then you got to replace it with something else. And I did. So I start building up a library. I have a library of fantastic Christian books. I I I replace. My life with new music, new books. So that's important. So you don't say, I, I'm not going to watch TikTok anymore. So what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? So start watching Christian TikToks. There are Christian TikToks. Have you done that? You used to watch all the gossip of this, this Hollywood. I'm going to stop watching all this gossip on Hollywood, on YouTube. What are you going to do now? Go to YouTube. Fight temptation. Now you're going to watch other kinds of things on YouTube. So replacement technique is important. Can somebody say or type replacement technique? Come on. Replacement technique. And the algorithm is going to catch. You start watching Christian videos on TikTok, the algorithm is going to catch you. And they start sending you all the Christian videos. And, and just they'll just start flooding your, flooding your, your inbox or whatsoever. When you scroll, you say, hey, why all the Christian videos? But you, you go to all the worldly things and you're not telling the world to shut up the world and it's not going to keep on showing up on your TikTok and your YouTube and that's how it is and you're going to go all feeling yourself not allowing the world to shut up and you're going to be fearful you're going to be shivering in your pants because the more you allow the world to speak to you the more fear is going to stay freedom is not going to come um, 所以我们做，如果我们要啊、呃、更加的在这个啊、呃
挪走这个恐惧方面，可以在进步的时候的话呢，我们不能够完全一下子好像就比如说，你不完全不去看地洞，那么呢，可能呢，我们需要呃做这一个替代呃技术。什么叫替代技术呢？就是说，你可能呢是看这一个地洞的，那么你之前看地洞的时候呢，你就是看那一些啊、呃、那一些呃明星啊那一些啊。呃明星那些的 t i k t o 那么呢，如果你你替代技术的时候呢，就是说你可能可以看关于这个圣经、关于呃基督啊、呃、这个方面的 t i k t o 所以呢，你有这一个替代，那么呢，你就慢慢慢慢的变得更好。So you want to start something new like this, then start searching on the search engine, whether it's TikTok or YouTube, such Christian videos, or just like Jesus, and and start, and the algorithm is going to catch up. Okay, if everything you every time you open, you all the celebrities show up. It means you have been watching videos on celebrities. If every time you open porn and sex videos show up, it means you have been watching porn because the algorithm will catch. Are you following? Whenever you show up, you talk about how to raise up children. It means you have been watching such videos and the algorithm caught it. So what show up is not just oh why all these sex videos because secretly you have been watching sex videos that's why all the sex videos are watching most of the time it's like that because the algorithm is going to catch what you are watching so start changing the algorithm for you so that the world will keep silence in your life and you will just begin to grow and enjoy being set free from fear. 然后在这个社交媒体里面呢，它有这一个啊特定的这个算法，就是说呢，如果你进入这一个啊 TikTok 或者啊进入这一个啊 Facebook， 那么你常常看的东西的话呢，那么呢它会一直出现同样的那一个视频。所以如果比如说你时常啊在在啊搜索的时候呢，你打的是关于孩子，那么等一下呢，你的脸书上面呢全部都是关于孩子的那一些资讯。那么如果你在那个搜讯里面呢，你打的是关于比如怎样做指甲，给个例子。那么呢，你做出来的时候呢，那么就会去关于啊所有的关于那那一个指甲。所以从现在开始，我们要更加有基督在我们的生命里面呢。那么我们搜索的那一个隐形方面呢，我们就应该搜索关于基督、关于圣经、关于这一类型的。Okay, the next few verses are so important. Verses two to four. We're going to look into verses two to four now, and this is such an important aspect of this sermon of this chapter that will help us to have an increase. In、uh, being set free from fear, let's go. Verse two: Who raised up one from the east? Who is righteous? Call him to his feet. Who gave the nations before him and made him rule over kings? Who gave them as dust to his sword, as driven stubble to his bow? 第二节，从谁从东方兴起一人，凭公义招他来到脚前呢？耶和华将列国交给他，使他管辖君王，把他们如灰尘交于他的刀，如风吹的碎秸交于他的弓。Verse three, come on, follow. Who pursued them and passed safely by the way that he had not gone with his feet? Verse three.、Uh, verse three. 第三节，他追赶他们，走走他所未走的道，坦然前行。Verse four: Who has performed and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? And the last one summarizes all these. Who? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? And the last one: I, the Lord, am the first, and with the last, I am He. 第四节，谁行做成就这事？从起初宣召历代呢？就是我耶和华，我是首先的。也与幕后的同在。To summarize these few verses that we just read, verses two to four. Listen, God is telling us for us to grow in being set free from fear is to recognize who God is. To grow in our knowledge who God is. First part, verse one. Stay away from what the world has to say, but you don't just stay away. Now you know what. Now you need to discover who God really is. That He is a loving God. That he is a powerful God, that he is Alpha and Omega, that he can do things that your parents cannot do for you. He can heal you. Who, who, who? And that is God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the Bible says, "You see, Alpha and Omega. First and last means Alpha and Omega. So it's important. So don't just stop listening to what the world is saying. Now you have to come to church. Now you have to read your Bible every day. Now you have to attend prayer meetings on Tuesday. Now you have to attend fellowship on Thursday. So not enough to shut 
the mouth of the world but you have to know who God is who is your God so a lot of Christians don't know who God is who is my God uh, my God is Jesus that from deeper who 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 raised up who called who gave the nations before him who who gave them as dust to the sword who performed and the list goes on we need to discover who God is more than who Bruno Mars is more than who um, whoever Madonna is what's happening to the 65 year old singer who who it's time for us to know who God is who God is who Jesus is I'm telling you your life is going to be transformed you're going to go, go from a loser to a winner a winner a victorious person you're going, you're going to go from a nothing to a somebody you're going to go from the the tail to the head that's how it is that's how it is with the things of God so I want the blessings of God the things of God but I don't even know who God is you need to know who God is I want everyone to, in the mother church, virtual church, or satellite churches, to read the last phrase. Can you go to the, the last phrase? I, the Lord, am the first, and with the last, I am He. So the word God says, Who, who is this? Who is so great? But it concludes with that. So I want all of us to take this in. Okay? So I want you to say, He is the Lord, and He is the first. And with the last is he. Ready? One, two, three. Everybody go. He is the Lord. He is the first. And he is the last is he. Remember that. That means you only your God is the first and the last. That means he doesn't end. Even your most famous people on this earth. I love Mariah Carey. One day I'm going to get a news on the internet. She's going to die. She's dead. Everybody has to die. You know, I love Whitney Houston. And when I got the news, Whitney Houston died a few years ago. I was devastated in that sense because I grew up with her music. I was inspired by her. All these great people is going to die. Because, listen, all you are going to die. Your parents are going to die. I am going to die. Because we are not the first and the last. But God lives forever. Your child is going to die. Your parents are going to die. Like it, you can do all in life. Don't die. No, I must die. Because I am not the first and the last. But we hold on to things that is not first and the last. But we, we tend not to hold on to the true first and the last enough. Hold on to Jesus. He is the first and the last. He is the Alpha and Omega. And can somebody say Amen? amen. Let go of... I mean, you can have friendships and relationships with your family. But you got to let go. They all have to go. But they are nothing, nothing is the first and the last but Jesus but Jesus that's why what the best gift a parent can give to the child the best gift I can give to angel would be Jesus not me because the day will come I'm going to say angel Appa is go Appa has to take his last breath so the best gift I can give to my child the best gift you can give to your children is not yourself it's not your money but Jesus can somebody say amen? amen? Because he is the first and the last. So what parents, what are you doing in this area? Are you giving more of Jesus to your children? Are you praying that your children will get close to Jesus? Are you praying? Are you praying for to make they become clever, make a lot of money? I'm telling you, those are secondary prayers. The primary prayers for your children would be more of Jesus. More of the true one who is the first and the last that cannot die, that cannot end, that live for eternity. 第四节告诉我们说耶稣呢是那首先的最好的给我们的孩子很多人讲说要给他们金钱要给他们什么但是最终我们还是会离开的所以最好的礼物我们能够给我们的孩子呢是主耶稣基督本身 Let's go to the next few verses Verse 5 Follow 
the coastlands coastlands are speaking about nations that it's pagan nations nations that don't believe in the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob okay that's what it means I do, you don't believe you can do your own research I had to do some research to get that find that out it was a bit tough but yeah, it's good to know that because prior to this sermon I also didn't know what it was then. prior to preaching this sermon I thank God I love preaching sermons like the chance to do research and to increase my own knowledge okay verse 7 verse 5 the coastland saw it and feared so not just us not us believers just walking away from fear as we draw close to God but the non-believers look at us wow these people are fearless true believers are fearless whoa and they will begin to grow in this kind this fear in their hearts what is that all about why is believers so fearless I read it again the coastland saw it and feared the ends of the earth were afraid they drew near and came did you catch that so when your non-believing family members and friends see the glory of God upon your life, they're going to fear the world. That person is really close to God. That person has something that I don't have. And what they came? They drew near and came. They'll be drawn to you. Did you catch that? Guys, did you catch that? So it's not just you being set free from fear affects you but affect the people that you are rich, trying to reach out to but if you're going to be the same as the world oh I scared tsunami I scared COVID I scared to get raped I scared I'm going to get kidnapped I scared to die I scared you look at God you live in Jesus and you are so fearful they will not be drawn to you are you following right? You guys are you following so draw closer to Jesus so fear leaves you and people will be drawn to you as they see how fearless you be Come in the name of Jesus Christ. Dilliet so as people come together growing in fearlessness in Jesus' name, the next verses will begin to follow. Verse 6, everyone help his neighbor and say to his brother, be of good courage. What does that mean? You can tell each other, do not fear. Can somebody say, do not fear? Can someone shout, do not fear? Can you tell the person beside you, do not fear? Come on, say it. Do not fear. Tell each other, do not fear. Can you type on the chat, I will not fear? Type on the chat, I will not fear. Alright, when we draw to Jesus, fears leave us, even the non believers begin to watch. Whoa, they have an amazing, they are amazing bunch of fearless people. Then as a that spiritual family as a family of God we are to edify one another and we can experience what it means to do not fear 第六节, I only have a few minutes to go and uh, to, to finish this sermon listen but yet even this morning we are talking about don't fear but if you go through this sermon thoroughly, you will see there is one fear that is needed. That you need to fear one thing. You have heard this before, but it's a gentle reminder. You cannot fear of death, cannot fear of sickness, cannot fear that your loved ones don't want to love you. You cannot fear of losing your, your money. But there must be one fear. Can someone tell me what's that fear? Fear of the God. You must have one fear. This fear is holy. All the other fears are ungodly. I fear an accident. I just banged the pole, you know, I scared to drive now. That is not of God. You have to be set free in Jesus' name. Who can say amen? amen. Yeah, you cannot be said, oh, I, I nearly fell down just now. I serve holy God. I don't serve anymore. I scared, I scared. That's not of God. Every fear is not of God, but there is one fear that is a must. You must fear God and this is a holy fear and and so not just this sermon for this week 
It's not just about being set free from ungodly fear, but you need to start to have holy fear of God. 我们刚刚提到呢，很多呢是关于那个不敬钱的那一些恐惧。那么有。在我们的生命里面呢，我们有一样是我们必须要感到害怕，其实不是害怕，应该是感到敬畏、尊敬、畏惧的呢，那就是我们的上帝，我们的神。So we're going to end with these verses, verses eight to ten. Okay, verse eight. But you, Israel, whenever you you read the Old Testament and you hear Israel, you you are you are is speaking to you because Israel is they are believers. They are believers of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So you put it in your context today. It's me. So God is telling me. So God is saying, but you, Jasmine, but you, Olivia, Israel is you. You are a believer. You're a child of God. Israel are God's children. Who can say Amen? amen. So you want to take it personally. Times like this, you take personally. You know, don't take personally the unnecessary thing. Everything you take personally, everything you take personally, that wasting of time. This you take personally. 那么我们来看啊、呃，这第八节，唯你以色列我的仆人。所以这里讲到以色列的时候呢，就在讲说，讲到我们自己本身，我们。Okay, well, I read that again. But you, Israel, are my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the descendants of Abraham, my friend. The God is calling you, my friend. If God is calling you His friend, means you need to understand that you are not God's enemy. Any one of you here who think I'm the enemy of God, that's a lie from Satan. You are not God's enemy. You believe in Jesus, you become a friend of God. 第八节，唯你以色列我的仆人雅各，我所拣选的，我朋友亚伯拉罕的后裔。Verse nine. You whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest regions and said to you, "You are my servant. I have chosen you, and you have not, and have not cast you away." 第九节，你是我从地极所领来的，从地角所招来的，且对你说，你是我的仆人，我拣选你，并不弃绝你。Verse ten, come on, fear not, fear not. Fear not. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. It's important to arrive at that place. Fear not. Only fear God. Don't fear anything else. Fear not. Don't fear your husband. Don't fear disaster. Don't fear not. It's fear not. Verse ten. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 第十节，你不要害怕，因为我与你同在。不要惊慌，因为我是你的神。我必坚固你，我必帮助你，我必用我必用我公义的右手扶持你。Can all rise up? Please rise up. 大家站立起来。I want the all put that put that first, please. I want us to. To turn this prayer into your personal prayer, I'm going to say this prayer for myself. And after that, you're going to say it. You watch. I want you. This is a powerful prayer that you can use for your life. I'm going to read it first. Y'all just listen. Everyone just listen. And after that, I want you to say it and make it personal. Listen to me. Pray this prayer. But you, Edmund, are my servant, whom I have chosen. The descendants of Abraham, my friend, you whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest regions and said to you, "You are my servant. I have chosen you and have not cast you away. Fear not." This God talking to Edmund now. For I am with you. Be not dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So this is going to be my prayer. I'm going to say this prayer for a long season of my life until I know that every fear that I have is gone in Jesus' name. So now you're going to say this prayer, but you're going to use yourself, Edmund. You're going to use your own name. So you will say, you will say. Well, let me see where they are. This prayer. You will say, but you, Josephine, but you, Amanda, but you, Cheryl, your own name. Get、okay. one, two, three. All of you go. Okay. One, two, three. Mandarin first. 
OK， 接下来我们要一起来说这个有力的这个祷告。那么那个华文的版本里面呢，他说：“唯你以色列，我的仆人。”那个以色列的时候呢，等一下呢，要要让你呢放进去你的名字。就比如说，如果你的名字呢是 Sharon， 就比如是我，唯你 Sharon， 我的仆人雅各，我所拣选的，我的朋友亚伯拉罕。所以我们要接下来呢，领读。啊，这个祷告从第八节到第十节，所以我们会先给英文的先，然后等下我们华文的来一起。It's verse eight, nine, ten. All right, ready, ready. We go together. Everybody, everybody, say your own name, okay? Verse eight to ten, and I want you to say this prayer together. Ready, one, two, three. But you, Edmund, are my servant, whom I have chosen, the descendants of Abraham, my friend. You whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from this father's region and said to you, "You are my servant. I have chosen you and have not cast you away. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen." You, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Pause for a moment. Think about those words. That is a powerful prayer. That's a powerful truth. Praying in alignment from the Bible itself. You are praying from the Bible from the. Words of the Holy Bible is powerful. Some of you have done it before. Some of you have never done it before. Some of you have never prayed from the Bible. I pray from the Bible now and then. You take the Bible verses and make it your prayer. Such power! And today I'm teaching you to do that, especially for those of you who have never done it before. Take Bible verses and turn it into your own prayer. This is important, and this is a new start for some of you. Do it. You're going to see new freedom. In your life, you're gonna see how fear is gonna leave you. So, um, 那个那个啊，以赛亚书第四十一章第八到第十节。所以这个呢，可以成为我们的个人的那一个祷告。所以记得回去的时候呢，看你们的华文圣经的时候呢，记得把那个以色列呢换成你自己本身的名字。所以当我们继续这样子的来接着圣经的话语呢来做这个祷告的时候呢，这是一个大有能力的一个祷告。So let's look to Jesus right now. 首先让我们啊看向耶稣。Stand.